In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a like kind of like a what I eat in a day. I know I made one of these in the summer, but I decided to make one again because I feel like my eating has changed just a little bit and I wanted to share with you guys. Also, I do count my calories currently. I am in a deficit. I'm not gonna share my numbers or anything, so I just feel like that's personal, but I am in a deficit, so I'm currently cutting. And I'm about to go to the gym. It's about 5.40. So when I first wake up, I don't really like to eat something that heavy for the gym because I can't really work out on like a really full stomach. It has to just be like, you know, full, but I'm still able to move around and maneuver throughout my workout. So for like my pre-gym breakfast, I'm gonna have this Quaker maple and brown sugar oatmeal. I'm heating up some water right now. Also, y'all, I rearranged my room again. Like, literally, I rearranged my room probably at least 10 times this year. But we're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about that. Yeah, so I'm gonna make this. I usually just put it in like a cup. So I'll put it in here. And then while I finish getting ready, I just let it, you know, soak in because you know it takes time for it to like harden. So I'll put it in here. And then, and then we're gonna take my hot water. Put it in here. I don't like to put too much water because I don't like my oats watery. I like them thick. Oh, I think I put too much. That's okay. It's whatever. Because I'm in college, I don't really have the time and the patience to make oats how I really want them with all the toppings and extra stuff. So I feel like the packets, this is like my favorite flavor of the packets. So I feel like it's much easier that I do that because it's easy, quick. So I've been using my fitness pal to track like what I eat. It's much easier to put it in there because all you do is put the packet in there. It's already measured out and you just log it. So I'm gonna let that sit while I go and brush my teeth and wash my face for the gym. I don't think I'm gonna take any pre-workout. I'm probably gonna decide if I want any um before I leave. I have like a minor headache right now so I don't really think I'm gonna take any because I have a feeling if I do, it's gonna make it worse, so I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna even try that. grams it says on here so it says 14 then i'm just gonna do seven because that's half of it my waffles are almost done this cooks fast my those are done i'm gonna put the butter on both of them and then drizzle a little bit of this and i already drizzled this on to the sausages so usually halfway through like four minutes in then i flip it like i flip the waffles and the sausage and then just wait until it's done okay guys so here's my breakfast i didn't make a really heavy breakfast because i did eat oatmeal in the morning and then we just have my water i drizzled the agave on it and then put some butter and i already put it in my fitness pal so we're all good y'all there's a lady 
bug problem in my room because I'm killing at least 10 a week in my room. They just be crawling, like flying. Like, I just killed two today. I killed two yesterday. It's ridiculous. And I don't even know where they're coming from, but I find that every time I crack my window open is usually when I have that problem. When I don't crack my window open, my room is hot. But I still have my AC, so I think I might just start running that instead of cracking my window. I don't know why they come in because I have a screen. Either they're coming in from there or I don't know how they're coming in, but anyways. I just woke up from a nap. It's 11.58. I'm about to head to my class, but I am hungry. I'm gonna have a snack. I can't eat, obviously, because my class is about to start. So this is what I'm gonna eat before lunchtime. These Himalayan salted dark chocolate almonds. I'm kind of cramping. Like, I can feel myself, like, PMSing right now. Like, I'm either going to start today or tomorrow. I just know. And then I have, like, a really bad headache. I don't really know where that's from because usually a headache isn't, like, a symptom for me. But I feel like for the past few cycles, it has. And I don't know why. I really don't know why. So, it'll be good that I'm eating dark chocolate because that's good. So I'm just gonna measure out two servings of these because I don't think I'm gonna be in the mood for one. I'm probably gonna want two servings and crave two servings. I know, I'm looking too rough, but I'm gonna take a shower after class. I just was exhausted and I think it's just cause I'm about to start my cycle. I'm literally so over this ladybug problem. I would complain about it to housing, but I don't really want to because I feel like they're not gonna do anything. Ladybugs are harmless. That's why I feel like they're just gonna really be like, okay, deal with it. I mean, I don't think they're really gonna say that, but that's the vibe I'm gonna get from it. But yeah, like they like to crawl on these vines. These vines are fake, but they like to crawl on them. And then like when I try to kill it, it literally flies. Like it's actually kind of hard to kill them. And then they'll like climb all on my freaking blinds and stuff like that. Luckily I haven't had to deal with one in my bed, but one time when my man's was here, he found one like on him while he was laying in my bed and I'm like, okay bro. So, I don't know, but let's go head to class. And I really just dropped one of these. I was back from class, so I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna eat for lunch. I just got this from my cafe. I didn't bring my camera because you know it's kind of like weird filming in your cafeteria. But this is like a little like Mexican burrito. I haven't gotten this like in a minute. Like I don't think I've actually gotten anything from the Mexican line, but once this whole semester. So in here I put chicken, yellow rice, um, a tiny bit of cheese, because I've kind of realized that I'm growing out of cheese. And what else? Jalapenos. I can't remember what else. Oh, and corn. Corn. And then I have a water. And then on the side I have like guacamole and this like little chipotle sauce got some veggies this is just broccoli and cauliflower and i got some pineapple because i haven't had fruit in a minute and i actually love fruit it's just like my favorite type of fruit is berries it's kind of hard for me to eat fruit because they don't have berries at the cap so i have to always get pineapple because i don't eat melon and then grapes they only have red grapes so i don't really like red grapes, I feel like purple, not purple, green ones are better. Green ones are way better. Especially when you freeze them, oh, so good. So I'm gonna eat this. I don't know why they put it in a green burrito wrap, but I don't really care. I don't really care. Because usually like with wraps, no matter what the flavor is, it usually tastes the same. And if y'all hear that clicking, the toaster slash air fryer is going because this man, he dropped his fries outside, his sweet potato fries. Literally, he was so upset. And luckily, I had truffle fries in my freezer that are really good. They're so good, but I had some left, so I was like, okay, I'll just make them in here, and then you can eat those. He has a little bit of sweet potato fries left, but I'm gonna take pics of my food, so that way I can, you know, take some pictures for the thumbnail, because I have not taken any pictures of my food yet. 
And I already put this in my fitness pal. And usually what I do, like as far as servings and like all that type of stuff, for vegetables, I kind of just wing it because vegetables aren't that high in calories. So I just kind of wing it. Like I literally just found like a random vegetable serving, whatever, and kind of just Hide it on my fitness pal. Pineapple, it literally says 70 calories on here. And then with the burrito, I just found the ingredients on there and then just put it on the diary. When I eat, I just kind of eat as much as I can until I get full. And then whatever is left, I kind of just cut that down from my serving. So like for example, let's say that I ate only half of my burrito. I would just cut like every ingredient that was in my burrito in half because it's like, you know? And then like, let's say I calculated like the sauces and I barely used any, I would just cut some from that. Same with the pineapples, same with the vegetables. I can also go for drinks as well, but I usually only drink water. If I drink anything else, it's probably iced coffee, but I'm trying to cut down on the coffee because it makes me have to urinate like a lot. And I have like a bladder, like that literally can barely hold anything. Like I have to pee all the time. And I think it's because of the caffeine intake. So I'm trying to leave back on that. And then also I put this hat on. I know before when y'all saw me, I had a bun, but I like this look. It makes me look a little less like dead. Like I was looking so dead earlier. And I'm not even wearing any makeup or anything. This is literally me fresh out of the freaking class fresh out of the gym, just put a fit together. So for now, I'll probably just eat this, get back to you guys once I finish this, so y'all can kind of see how much I eat. Yeah, that's kind of what we're gonna do for now until I eat dinner. I did eat both servings of my almonds, and then I took some ibuprofen, so my cramps are gone for now. I think I did start my cycle. I need to go to the bathroom and check. I did like prepare myself just in case, and then I wore dark sweats because your girl's not trying to have no embarrassment, you know? Been there, done that, I'm not gonna be embarrassed, so. Period, but anyways, let me stop stalling and eat my food, because it's probably getting cold, so I'll talk to you guys after. Okay, so I didn't eat a lot of the broccoli because as y'all saw, I was air frying it because it got cold. And then I finished like most of my burrito. This is all just like rice in here. So I stopped eating it. And then that was the guac, the chipotle mayo. I'm gonna try to finish all these pineapples. Probably not gonna eat any more of this. I might just save this to eat for later, but I don't know, cause the stems are like really hard. But it was still good, so I might save it for later. I don't know yet. I can't even promise y'all that I'm gonna do that. They have some really good single serve meals there, so I'm gonna get something to eat there because I don't really want to eat out. I'd rather just make something in my dorm. And then we're gonna stop by Best Buy while we're out. And yeah, I'll just show y'all what I eat whenever I pick it up. I'll just show y'all my options of what I'm thinking of getting. 
because I don't really know what I'm gonna get. I just know that they have some good meals that I could possibly eat tonight. So the only reason why I'm eating out is because I literally ran out of money on my meal card. So I have to go out and get food now. Once break starts, then I'm just gonna add more money to it. So that way it'll, you know, take it's time transferring over. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get something from Trader Joe's for now. I really want pasta, but you know, since I live in a dorm, I can't cook pasta unless I use my pan. Like I have a pan, so I might just get pasta because that sounds mad good. But we'll see what I get, we'll see. Y'all, these are the almonds I eat, and they're on sale for $13. That's pricey, but still gonna get them though. I'm not gonna get something too big. Like, I think this is fine, like for the both of us, because we're not eating OD. Maybe I should get, what do you think I should get? Tenders or breasts? I think I should get breasts. It's up to you, you're the one making it. Breasts, look at this. Actually, let's get the eight. Yeah, let's get this one. Okay guys, so this is my dinner. And then and this is his, he obviously has more. It's this cheese filled, I don't know how to pronounce that, but with pink sauce. And I made two and a half servings of it and then I added three ounces of chicken on it. I measured it out and everything. Also, I mixed in some cornstarch because the sauce was like a little runny. The pasta's under the chicken. I just put a little bit extra on top. So I'm gonna also add in some hot sauce, Cholula, some Nashville hot garlic salt to it. Okay guys, just finished up my food. It was really good. I'm glad I added the seasonings because it added some spice and it tasted so good. But the only thing is when I was making it, I didn't think I would need olive oil because I cooked the chicken before the pasta. So that way like the oil would be kind of lingering still in the pan, but it ended up not doing that because I didn't put a lot of oil on the chicken. So there wasn't that much excess oil. So that's why I had to get the cornstarch because it was mad watery. Like, and I'm fine with it being watery, but this time, it was just OD watery. But yeah, that's gonna be all for what I eat in the day. If I still have like some calories I need to fulfill, I'll eat something like almonds, like those dark chocolate almonds. I'll eat something like that or like, just like a minor snack, just so that way I can fulfill all my calories for the day. Yeah, I feel very full. Not like full, full where I feel bloated, but I feel satisfied where I'm able to like go to bed not feeling like Still feeling, you know, full, happy, all that type of stuff. Plus with me being on my cycle, well, I didn't start, but like, you know, I'm PMSing. It's good that I don't feel that way because then it'll just make my symptoms feel so much more worse. But yeah, you know, this is probably one of my best calorie counting days. And I didn't even try to front for the camera. Like I dead ass like leaned, okay, 
what can I eat? Like I'm on my cycle, so I don't want something too heavy and I don't got nothing on my meal card at school. I literally ran out after lunch. Like after my lunch that like y'all saw I ate, I literally ran out. But this just proves to show y'all that even in a deficit, you can still get full, like and be satisfied. And I've been taking fitness very seriously, like I said, like fitness health, all that. I'm thinking about starting a fitness Instagram, but I don't know yet. The only reason why is cause, you know, like I like how my channel, like I can kind of just post whatever like I wanna post. And I feel like once I start fitness content, it's like that's gonna be my niche, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so now I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the night. I'm just gonna drink water because usually when you're in a deficit, you go to sleep like a little bit hungry and I still feel like I could eat more. Like I said, I'm satisfied. I'm not like literally bloated full. So drinking water is just gonna help me, you know, stay like in a full state instead of like, you know, breaking like my deficit and start craving stuff and then just go crazy. But I've learned how to control that. And I feel like the best way to control that is drinking water. But yeah, so that's all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I literally tried to make this as realistic as possible. And I feel like I did a pretty good job. Obviously, I don't literally go to the grocery store every day. But like I said, my meal card, you know, ran out. And I'd rather make my food. I'm one of those people where I'd rather make my food then go out and you know buy some fast food that's only gonna keep me full for like an hour we guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys